Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation. And for today's video, it's gonna be our regular Monday video going over everything that comes out this week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the video. Now, first up, this is going to be a raid boss competitive week again, like usual, like we have every single month. This time, the prizes for the top parties will get the new Lucifer doll, which does have a skill perk of plus six. Now this isn't the greatest thing in the world just because of the fact that there's already tons of dolls the ones that like fit on your shoulder like Lucifer here uh, that provide the same exact skill perk of plus six so really the only reason to chase after this is like you really like Lucifer for some reason um, but other than that there's there's nothing special about this week's raid bosses next up we have some returning Halloween avatar boards which we kind of alluded to yesterday uh, but now we actually got them and in case you don't know we are uh, we got some of the like uh, Arabian Jafar ones my bad Jafar and Ursula cow outfits as well as the Donald and Goofy Halloween outfits as well these are really old uh, and last but not least we also have the returning dragon Maleficent uh, outfit as well along with the uh, little dragon arm doll thing now, out of all of these outfits so far, none of them are that special. The main things they're going to be taking a look at are going to be the actual new Halloween avatar boards instead. And I'll get to that in a second. So these are the new Halloween avatar boards. Uh, I thought this was like a Dragoon thing earlier, but apparently this is these are actually cats. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Uh, to be honest, the only thing that makes me think cat is this tail. Otherwise, like, you can vaguely see the, the whole cat features on the mask. But anyways, we are getting a cat and a, like, werewolf uh, type outfit, okay? Now, the skills that come in these outfits are actually really good, and I'll look, go over those real quickly. So, for the cat ones, okay, they come with the uh, hands accessory that provides a plus skill perk of plus eight. Now, there's already a couple other outfits uh, for the hands that provide a skill perk of plus eight already, but if you don't happen to have that, then this is gonna be a great board for you. However, the main things that in this board are worth looking at are going to be the attack boost six max and Lux plus plus. That's a huge one for any Lux Raiders out there. The defense boost six is pretty good, um, but that's only in terms of like, if you're looking to use that for PVP, otherwise outside of PVP, you might not need it as much. Uh, so that's that's almost specifically a PvP thing. But the werewolf one probably has the most value uh, out of the two. Just because of the fact that, at least in skills anyways, because of the fact that it comes with an attack boost 7 max and gauge 0, which is fantastic. Uh, especially since it seems to be a trend where a lot of the metals coming out re uh, lately, the past, like, what, 6 months or so, have been having super high SP costs. Especially the high school challenge metals. Like, we're at the point where they now need 9 gauges to activate their their SP. That's insane. <laughs> Absolutely insane. Like, you have to use a cost reduction skill at that point. Aside from the attack with 7 max and gauge here, we're also getting attack with 7 max and Lux Plus, which is fantastic as well, again, for any Lux Raiders out there. Um, I know, especially if you want to, like, put this on, like, a, a copy metal or any of those, like, stained glass metals, because they do start off at a uh, zero gauge cost. Metals such as like that, or even like the, some of the most recent uh, VIP metals, uh, like the World Ends With You Arc 3, metals like this, like, that already don't cost anything, uh, these are the type of skills that you want to put on those because in case you're not aware if you do put an attack boost uh, Max and gauge something skill that costs more than zero uh, Instead of costing zero on the metal like it normally would like say HD Venice for example instead of costing zero like it's supposed to it will actually cost one gauge if, if it's a gauge one cost reduction skill uh, So that's always one thing that's kind of an mm. So attack boost 7 max and Lux plus is great for those type of metals as well as the fact that it also comes with more copies of attack boost 4 max Which is pretty much absolutely required if you want any type of chance to get in the higher uh, tiers of PvP Even if you have the best metals in the world if you don't have a attack boost 4 max And you're only using attack boost 3 max instead. It's going to significantly lower you uh, in the rankings. So in terms of value between the 
two of these, uh, the werewolf definitely has the most value and they are 2,500 jewels a piece. Next up, like I mentioned before, we are having a competitive raid week again, but this time you can also receive the Lucifer Tail avatar part. Now, as far as I'm aware, the Lucifer Tail doesn't actually do anything. It's, it's, it's literally just an accessory for looks this time. But next up, they have updated the Event Coins Defeat Heartless uh, event. And they included another 20 uh, quests, I believe. Yes, 20 quests. Uh, I've already completed these. The last 10 quests definitely become very challenging. Uh, some of them where you are actually required to have minus 60 traits in order to like do any damage to them. So if you're looking to try to complete some of those quests, be aware of that. Uh, there was only about like two or three quests where that was actually required. But those can still be roadblocks if you don't have those traits. Next up for this week's VIP deal, we are getting more golden tickets like usual. Uh, for purchasing this week's VIP, you'll be able to get it next week on the 22nd of October. Uh, but aside from that, we are getting the new Vanitas Remnant B Meadow along with 1400 jewels just like usual. Uh, now, in case you're not aware, Vanitas Remnant B is basically just a speed reverse version of Toon Rocks and Pals. Uh, now, I would love to just, you know, point out real quick how I mean it was very obvious for me that they were going to do this and I already knew this metal was going to come along uh, but it, let's just point out real quick that it, it feels very intentional that they print out this metal specifically during the week that the uh, Luxord uh, Organization 13 event is out right now which only require like which only lets you use random target metals um, and in case you're not aware and here it is so I'll just do it right here Vanita's Rum the Beat is a random target metal. Uh, there's a description too in case you don't know what Toon Roxas and Pals does by chance, okay? Uh, for one turn, it raises the reverse strength by three, your general strength by seven, and your PSM strength by five. So it's a really great buffer metal. On top of the fact that the multiplier for the metal is honestly not that bad either. So if you really wanted to, you could even use it as a damage metal if you'd like. Uh, but for the most part, it's just a random target metal that's a good buffer that I know a lot of people are going to want to use for the Luxord event. But aside from that, we are getting the usual magic brooms and magic mirrors as well as the gems for VIP. Now, the last thing I want to talk about for today's video is going to actually be about uh, something that was released in the JP version of the game today. Which is where they kind of did a new campaign. Uh, and I'm hoping and partially expecting that this might come sometime fairly soon. Maybe even tomorrow for the global version of the game. In which case they're actually providing a new way to receive some golden tickets. In the form of kind of like a recruitment campaign in a way. And basically in a nutshell about how this works is that during the time period. If your party happens to recruit a new player everyone in the party will receive a brand new golden ticket but there are some criteria as to what exactly is defined as a new player and they specify in here that someone with a new player has to specifically have an id that is greater than 3,874,052 has to be greater or equal to that number as long as the person's player ID matches that or is greater than that, that person will count towards the new player aspect of the campaign. Uh, now, just keep in mind as well that the golden ticket thing, it's not a gold ticket for each new person that fits that criteria. You can only get up to one gold ticket uh, for up to one person max. Okay, so even if you invite an entire party of 30 new people, you're still going to only get one gold ticket. So... Just a little disclaimer out there, you can't go abusing uh, <laughs> the system like that. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Just wanted to keep you guys updated on everything that's coming out, just like usual. But I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on everything that's going on for this week in the comment section down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.